finally off. I'm just walking down the street a little ways to a spot that looks clear enough for people to be able to stop to pick me up. This looks like it should be a good spot right here. It's right by a light, so people will stop and there's space to pick me up. Directo al parque. Okay, perfecto, gracias. Okay, good news. It only took me about 90 seconds to get a ride and it's very nice. He's a professor here in town. Um, if you ever seen this video, thank you for the ride. I'll let you know when I get my next ride. That last ride took me up to where this train station is that I could take the train the rest of the way into the park. Um, and it'd be really beautiful and it's historic and southernmost train in the world, which is kind of cool, but it's like 30 bucks. And although it would be kind of a cool experience, it's just not so key for me that I would want to spend that money on that. I'd rather have that money for extra days in park somewhere. So I'll try to get a ride the very last little bit. Thank you very much. Thanks, you too. I finally made my way. I discovered this post office that is apparently the southernmost post office in the world. Uh, fin del mundo. So end of the world is what they call it. So of course I had to send Trey a postcard and my grandma. <laughs> so now that I've done that, I will start my try. Luckily, straight from the post office is the start of my trail, though so I ended up in the exact spot I needed to be. I also saved money from taking any sort of shuttle here, so, and I met great people. It's honestly one of my favorite parts about traveling is just meeting the people and being in someone's car and hearing a little bit about their life is the best way to do that. So I know I'll probably never see them again, but that's okay. Um, I know they're out there and it's always a great reminder that there are wonderful people in the world, especially when things get rough. So um, I do highly suggest it. But as always, I will say it's still smart to be careful. Um, I'll attach down in the description um, some of the blog posts I've written about being safe while hitchhiking and all my thoughts on it. So make sure to check those out if it's something you're considering. Anyway, I'm going to start the trail. I'll show you guys more. Just came across this small little beach here. I'm probably less than a mile in, but it's already 1.30 and I had two pieces of toast for breakfast at around eight. So I'm getting pretty hungry. My food's buried. And I really don't want to get it out, um, but I do have half of a roll in the side of my bag from yesterday. So I think I'm just gonna eat that and call it good until I set up camp and have dinner later. Um, man, this is so cool, look at this. of my biggest struggles on trails lately that I'm sure some of you have noticed is that uh, I get so captivated by the flora and fauna of each area that it takes me so long <laughs> to actually get oh, like this. There's a bee here. Hold on. America, but it also might be, and it looks a little bit different, and I think that's amazing. And so I always want to get videos of it, and same with the flowers, that everything is just so unique, and I love being able to show you guys all of that, um, and really just remind everyone why this earth is worth protecting, and how unique and amazing it is. I just found this awesome, massive spider. I wish I had a better lens so that I could show you guys just how cool they look. Um, but that's okay. I have a camera and I'll get the better lenses later. Um, also these rocks are I'm just going to try to show you as much as I can. <laughs> made it to the road. I think I have maybe two miles towards where the campsite is, which is great because I am crazy hungry. I, 
I don't know why, but for whatever reason, when I got here, I didn't have much of an appetite, and it's been like four or five days of that now, and it finally kicked in, and it kicked in hard. So I am ready to get there, get this 80 pound pack off, set up my tent, and make some dinner. I kind of walked all around in here. It looks like the best spot is in between some tents over here. So it won't be the most secluded site, but it's okay. I'm just sleep in there, right? All right, my tent is set up. I know I look ridiculous, but when I got here, I don't know if I've ever seen so many mosquitoes at once. Um, that was the only thing I could grab quickly. They were landing on my face, and so I, as quickly as I could, was trying to find my winter hat and this so I could cover everything, but um, I figured I'd throw that on and try to get my tent set up as quickly as possible. Oh my gosh, there's so many. I just started to get my stuff around. Yes, I was about to start cooking just outside my tent so that I didn't have to sit in the rain and obviously I'm not gonna cook in my tent because that's super unsafe. Um, but I kind of forgot about the mosquitoes in like the 10 minutes it took for me to lay down and get changed. I forgot that there were a bunch of mosquitoes outside. So I think I'm gonna prep it in here, really quickly set it out there and then keep an eye on it and open the door just to stir it every now and then. These mosquitoes are seriously everywhere. Just found one of my food. So, just sitting there on the top, clearly flew in there. That is how many there are here. Ah, there go all of his legs. There's still one leg in there. I have been thinking about it, and although I wanted to avoid this, I think it makes the most sense to try to summit the peak tomorrow, rather than on Friday. Today's Wednesday. Um, I wanted to have this heavy day with all my weight and the day summoning the peak um, not to be next to each other just because those are going to be the two biggest days but um, I looked at weather ahead of time and I know that Friday is going to be completely cloudy and overcast and raining and I don't think I'll have any great views from the peak that day and so it seems as though I should do it tomorrow. Right now I'm going to organize my tent because it's a mess. I just kind of tossed everything when I came in and I was so hungry. I just wanted to make food, stretch because I'm very sore and I know I need to get some stretching in and probably start going to bed even though it's only seven and the sun isn't set for another two and a half hours. Um, if I'm going to get up early and feel rested, I should just get some sleep. So not the most exciting, but uh, that is the evening and I will show you guys in the morning when I'm getting ready for the peak and I'll show you everything along the way. All right, I am off. I uh, had to sign in. They make you sign a form for safety to make sure that everyone gets off the mountain. It's just a bunch of small hikes. Yeah, I'm a bit anxious. I'm not really sure what to expect, but 